Hi, my name is Jolie Kaminsky Armager. I have a small business called Jolie Luxury Consignment Boutique located here in North Mount Pleasant. So my parents growing up were entrepreneurs and they wanted me to go to college, so I did. Start off as a pharmacy major, ended up with a marketing degree, and I was in the corporate world for over 20 some odd years, starting off in a very small um, sales role, all, working all the way up to executive vice president of sales for a larger organization. And I decided that at, uh, after having a child at the ripe age of 43, that it was time for me to leave corporate America and open up a small business and pursue my passion. I left corporate America right before the pandemic and I decided that I was going to pursue my dream of you know, buying and selling luxury items and open up a brick and mortar during COVID, which of all times was probably not the best time. And you know, one year later, here we are, thriving and have uh, the community has embraced the store and everything that we're all about, uh, providing luxury for less. So I had my son in October of 2018, Hudson, and he is my pride and joy. Um, having him at the ripe age of 43 and owning a business is definitely a challenge because running around with a toddler and trying to manage a business has um, has uh, its its it benefits and also its detriments. Um, with that being said, um, it, it's been a healthy juggle for me because I get to spend some time with him on the days off. I get to pick him up earlier from daycare, and uh, I also get to leave him in daycare on days when I'm like I need to really focus on the business. The reason why I decided to go the luxury route was because I've been buying and selling for years. I know how to authenticate. Um, I've been doing it for well over 20 years. So um, for me, it was more or less, what is everyone else doing and how can I be different? How can I be unique? How can I put my brand and stamp on the area and have people go, wow, that's fascinating, that's, that's amazing. And I wanna go shop there and be able to get these high-end items for a fraction of the retail cost and be happy with my purchase. The other consignment stores in the area, while wonderful, um, and, you know, we definitely cross promote one another and support them. You know, they do have luxury items as well, but this is really more of an upscale boutique as opposed to like your normal mom and pop consignment shop. So when people come in, they say, wow, look at the chandeliers, look how everything is beautifully curated. It looks like a big closet. I've never seen anything like this before. And really for me, that's what it was all about, was to make you feel like you're walking into this large closet of just hand-picked items, you know, varying in sizes, colors, um, styles for, for different people. Um, that way they, they felt like they could find something that was unique to them and personalized, not not just, you know, your Banana Republic and your J. Crew was, was all well and good because I wore, you know, a lot of that when I was in corporate but I wanted them to feel like they, they could get like that, those luxury items in a you know, closet type of space, as opposed to like walking into like a Marshalls or TJ Maxx where you walk in and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm just lost. So the idea of the luxury for less was that, you know, you were able to get a hold of those name brands, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Hermes, Prada, and you would be able to get them for less. So it's just a great logo. It's a catchy logo to get people to come in and to shop and to be like, wow, you know, I was able to get that handbag that I've always dreamed of and I didn't have to pay full retail for it, which is a beautiful thing, especially nowadays when the marketplace has completely changed. Just a quick example, like for Chanel, you can only buy one handbag and one small leather good a month. You have to have buying history and those prices have just increased to, to prices that people can't even afford. So for me in the resale market, it's definitely been nice to say, hey, listen, you know what? You're able to get that Chanel bag for a fraction of the retail, even though retail for Chanel has been exponentially increasing every six months to every nine months. I live about seven minutes away, so not too far away. And after commuting all over the place, all over the country, I decided that I needed to be closer to home uh, closer to where my son goes to school and knowing that Mount Pleasant is just thriving and it's just continuing to build and grow. It was very important to me to put my stamp in an area where that um, I, I was at home and that people felt close to home and 
wanted to be able to come over the bridge if need be from Charleston or Daniel Island, close to Clements Ferry, where people can, you know, where they're continuing to build and can come come by and shop. The impact that I want to give to people is that, you know, sustainability is so important and in a very eco-conscious world that we live in right now, being able to reuse, recycle, and repurpose items is just, this, this generation has been doing it nonstop and they're definitely teaching the Gen X's, which is my generation, of how to do that as well. But um, it, it's definitely just being more eco-conscious and really reducing your carbon footprint. Advice I would give somebody looking to open up a business would be do your research, take the time, make sure that you have a plan, um, look at the area, find out about the demographics, make sure that you've got the proper funding to do so, talk to other business owners, get feedback from them, and just really research, research, research. Um, know your why and also just pursue whatever makes you happy. If that's your dream, then go for it because sky's the limit once you do something that you love.